So today we're gonna to talk about how to load 35 millimeter film onto a reel and load it into a tank to process it at home. So there are a few things that you're gonna to need to start out with. The first is obviously a roll of 35 millimeter film. You're gonna need a can opener in order to open the metal cassette. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors to trim the leader end, and you're gonna need a changing bag. Now, I'll show you how to use that, but I'll actually change it outside of the bag, that way you can see it. You're also gonna need a tank with a film reel inside of it. So when you open up and take off the funnel, um, you can take the, the reel out. Now, if you're doing this in a completely dark room, you could do it on a desk like this, but it has to be an absolutely dark room. No light can be on. Otherwise, you need to do it inside a bag and preferably in like a darkened closet or something like that. Now, when you take your reel to start off with, I would have a piece of scrap film around and there are these two little uh, delta shaped tabs that you're gonna slide the film under and I like to pull it through like this and just make sure that these two bearings in here are moving properly. Because what you're gonna do when you're actually loading it is you're gonna fill uh, the gap between there with the film and you're gonna slide it through and then it's gonna catch on those little bearings and as you rock the two halves of your film reel, it's gonna sit there and spool your film all the way on. Now, when you're doing this at home, either in a very dark room or preferably like a completely black closet, you're gonna take your film bag and you're gonna unzip the two zippers that are in it and you're gonna take your film reel, put it inside, can opener, scissors, film, and all the other stuff as well. All of that's gonna go in the bag and then you're gonna change it in there. Now, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna take it out and we're gonna do it in the light and I'm actually gonna blind my, I'm actually gonna blindfold myself just so that y'all know that I'm really doing this. Because the thing is, when you're changing this for real, you're doing it in absolute darkness. And so if you're making a mistake, you can't see it before it happens. You have to do this entirely by film. You have to do this process entirely by feel, which is incredibly challenging in the dark. So let's get started. It is incredibly important that whatever workspace you're using, whether it be inside the bag itself or on table, if you're able to have a completely dark room, it's incredibly important to stay organized because this will help you later on when you're changing the film. So I like to do things in order, okay? So you're gonna have a cassette like this and you're not gonna have the leader strip out like this. It's actually gonna be tucked away inside um, the metal cassette a little bit more like this, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open the metal cassette using a can opener, and then once you pull it out, you're gonna trim it with your scissors, and then you can start loading it on the reel. So let's get started. I'm gonna blindfold myself, and this is where the organization of your space really comes into play and is incredibly important because once you're blindfolded, I, I can't remember where I left these things. So you're gonna start with your film reel and your can opener and you're just gonna pop it like this on the edge and you can pull the top off like that. There we go, just like that. And then you're gonna pull out the reel that has all the film on it. Now when you do this, you're gonna be very careful and you're gonna take just the edge. And you see how it has this leader like this? You're gonna take your pair of scissors and you're gonna cut just behind that notch. So you're gonna take your scissors, you're gonna cut just behind that. And once it's trimmed, you can set your scissors and the trimming aside. You don't want the trimming to get it back in your way because you don't want to be confused as to what you're touching. So you want to make sure you keep a hold of this very carefully in your hand and you have the reel and the lead separated. So then you're going to take your reel like this and you're going to feel for those two tabs that we looked at earlier and there they are right there. So I'm going to line the two of them up. I'm holding them with my two fingers on this side and I'm holding my film with this hand. And I'm going to gently put the film underneath and it's helpful to actually pull it through with your finger about that far. That makes sure it's past the bearings and it makes sure it's all the way through. If it gets stuck before then, you should stop. Then you're gonna take the, um, you're gonna take the two halves of the reel 
and you're gonna start rotating them back and forth like this. And this is where it starts spooling onto the reel. So you're gonna keep doing this and you're gonna keep doing it and you're gonna keep doing it and sometimes it'll pop open like that and you need to tuck that back under the tab like that. Now I couldn't see that, I had to feel that. I keep my thumbs on those two tabs as I'm doing this and then when you get to the very end like this, you're gonna have the end of the spool and you can either cut it or pull it off very carefully and then you have a spool loaded with your film. Now we're gonna do this again with a closer shot so y'all can see it just of my hands. Okay, so for this tighter take, I'm actually still blindfolded. So we're gonna start by feeling for our tools again, okay? So you're gonna take your film, you're gonna take your can opener, and you're gonna pop off the top of the canister like that. You can set the little metal ring and the can opener aside, you're done with those. You're gonna pull the spool with the film out very carefully, keep holding it. You don't wanna drop it because if you're working in the open like this, you don't want it to roll away or unroll. And if you're in the bag, you have to be very careful with space. So you're gonna take your leader and your scissors and very carefully, you're gonna cut that off like that. You're gonna set both of those aside. So now you have your film like this, hold it like that, and we get our reel. We're gonna feel for those two little delta indentations and we're gonna take the film, slide it up underneath them, through the little bearings, pull it past, and then we're ready to go. So we're gonna start And you wanna keep feeling with your thumbs to make sure it's under those tabs. Keep going, keep going, you get to the end. And then when it's at the very end, you can either cut or pull it off and then finish spooling it and you're done. So that's how you take a 35 millimeter canister of film, open it up, put the film on a reel into a tank and have everything safely ready to go to develop.